actually have a video for you where I am playing in an art journal. It has been a while and honestly I contemplated not sharing this spread because it's not my best work and the lighting is not great and it the angle of the camera <laughs> It's all weird, but I thought I'd share it with you anyways. If you don't enjoy it, you can stop watching it. <laughs> but, um, well, as you know, I'm working on my art room, so my island is not where it usually is, which means the lights aren't above it like they usually are. And it also means that I don't have... The camera mounted above like I usually do I just had to set it up on the island and have it come down which made it go backwards which was really messing with my head <laughs> when I would look up at the screen but it's a video <laughs> I brightened it up um, with editing so hopefully it's not too bad so I'm working in my small dilutions journal and so far I have covered the background with vanilla custard. Now I'm taking a small circle gel plate with some vibrant turquoise dilutions paint and there was glitter on my gel plate which was very annoying. Um, I can't remember what I did. I can remember trying something with glitter on the gel plate like a long time ago, but I can't remember what it was. Never again. Don't do it. Do not put glitter on your gel plate. <laughs> I'm sure after so many prints, it'll be gone. But anyway, I wasn't liking how the circles looked, so then I added some mushy peas. All the paint I'm using is Dilutions. And I did like the circles better after doing this, but <laughs> this page came out nothing, absolutely nothing like I thought. Like I had a, I didn't have everything planned out, but I had like a little idea in my head before I started and this is nothing like it. <laughs> but in when it was done, I didn't mind it. Like I said, it's not my best, but I didn't mind it. This is pink flamingo. This would this did not work at all. I had wanted like I wanted the actual look of the stencil. Like if I could have glued that stencil on my page, <laughs> that's what I wanted. So I thought I'd use the gel plate so I would get that, but that did not, it just didn't work. Yeah. It does not look good. So me tapping my fingers is trying to figure out see that is what I wanted <laughs> so if I could afford to buy all the stencils I want I would just glue that stencil right there on my page so since I didn't like it I thought I'd try something else and I went in with some black marble paint and then I didn't like how that looked. So then I filled in the yellow with black. So there's no more um, vanilla custard on the page. Something fun happens with the black paint later, too. <laughs> That's a little bit of sarcasm there as well. <laughs> so 
I still wasn't liking it. And I wanted that stencil to look like it's supposed to. So I went in with a white Posca and traced all of it. Every single bit. I just, I'm watching The Crown on Netflix, so that helped to be, you know, watching something and preoccupying my mind while doing it. I gave everything an outline with the pink Posca. I actually thought about doing multiple outlines with the pink, like filling it in, kind of like a Zentangle pattern type thing, but I didn't end up doing that. So I really liked how the pink popped against the green and against the black. So instead, I took this stencil. I forgot to tell you the name of the other stencil as well. Um, but I'm just tracing the pattern out with a fine white Posca. So this stencil, see again, French. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll put the names of the stencils in the description box below the video. Because I'm not butchering French. I have more respect <laughs> than that because it will not sound good. The one I know I could say. I took French in school. I could say it. The other one? Nope. I know it looks like... No, that's not it. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. I'll just put it in the description. <laughs> You're welcome, French people. See, this looks cool, don't you think? It looks way cooler today than it did last night. <laughs> okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I needed more black paint to fill that page on the other side. And I opened up my paint bottle to get black paint out, and the ball came out, and then it rolled across my finished page. And there was no point in trying to clean it up because it just would have smeared everywhere. So then I purposely made it roll around a little bit more so it wasn't just one single line on my page. I mean, there was nothing I could do about it. It had already happened. I couldn't get rid of it and I wasn't going to try to cover it up because it would be pretty darn hard to cover up big black lines. So I decided to work with it and then I kind of used it just to break up a quote that I put in the one circle. And it's actually just part of a quote, but I didn't think it needed the whole thing. Like the whole quote is something about um, like be softer with you, you are a living, breathing thing or something, I don't know, it goes on and on. But I just wanted something really short and sweet. So I thought, well, just saying being so be softer with you, that is good. Like, I don't think it needs any more explanation than that. I think that works all on its own. So I just did the first line. And then I did that whole thing, you know, left and bottom, like the underneath. How I choose, I always say choose left or right and then top or bottom. I tend to go left and bottom. And I find it adds a lot of dimension to the letters. And that is it for this chaotic spread. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed and thanks so much for watching. I'll actually have a couple of videos for you this week. So enjoy. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.